Hello everyone, this is PK Entertainment and we're back again and here now we have another video for you and we're going to talk about Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, its overall box office opening weekend and whether it's been another big success for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now there might be spoilers for this movie and all other movies and series within the MCU so just beware when going into this overall video and you can check out my non-spoiler and spoiler reviews of Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness and reviews of other films and shows within the Marvel Phase 4 and I'll leave some links within the description. So when looking at the opening box office weekend within the US cinemas and everything indicates towards a smashing performance when the movie managed to gross 187 million in its opening weekend. Easily outperforming the Batman to become the highest grossing weekend of 2022 so far. Now what was even more impressive was that globally it's managed to smash its way to over 450 million worldwide which is the 11th best global opening of all time and it's already halfway to crossing that one billion dollar mark so it's a great achievement for doctor strange whose first film way back in 2016 made around 670 million worldwide which i felt was a very good take and the character has gone on to become one of the most established and prominent members of the mcu this sequel overall marking his fifth appearance in the universe after his first film and then appearing in the likes of Thor Ragnarok, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame and of course most recently Spider-Man No Way Home. And what's also great for this movie is that for the most part it still very much remains a solo adventure for the character. Wanda aside, he didn't really need to rely on the other Avengers to succeed on a large scale. And it once again confirms the character's popularity with Benedict Cumberbatch in the lead role. Now some box office analysis have stated that this opening weekend was very front loaded and due to the mixed reviews we may indeed see a big drop for the second weekend. Now in terms of the mixed reception I think a lot of that was down to certain expectations regarding the cameo appearances that weren't quite as involved as what they were in Spider-Man No Way Home. Some people felt that there was some disrespect shown for certain characters. Now to be honest I didn't quite see that. I think fans themselves built up expectations in their own head regarding the cameos and they were expectations that weren't really given by the movie itself if you go over the trailer it still very much promised a doctor strange movie traversing all over the multiverses it showed us america chavez it showed us that wanda was going to take a dark villainous turn we had all of the extravagant special effects and and spectacle but we never hinted at there was going to be any big cameo appearances throughout the movies so that was something that the fans built up themselves and i think it brings the debate once again about fans expectations and speculations how they're perhaps embroiling themselves too much in rumor and narrative rather than focusing on the actual content itself but i do think that general audiences who don't get involved in all of the speculation and debate could still go and enjoy this movie and i think they would have been very satisfied that the movie delivered what it promised now some reviewers stated that there was certain intensity and graphic nature of some scenes throughout the film stating that it pushed the PG-13 boundaries all the way to their limit but I really didn't see that at all and I still think that the movie is accessible and appropriate enough for all age ranges and demographics. So as there's very little competition in the next two to three weeks I'd probably say that we'll see a second weekend drop standard around 60 to 65 percent i'm not expecting anything higher than that and i think it once again shows the biggest sign that alongside spider-man no way home and also the batman that superheroes still remain the most prolific genre within all of entertainment definitely no signs here of any superhero fatigue yes you will always get something like morbius that doesn't perform as well as expected but when it comes to the more established properties and big name characters they still stand strong it once again shows that mainstream theatres are continuing to get back to normal post pandemic and once again strengthens the argument that if you make a movie that is big enough and appealing enough then people will venture out to watch it it also confirms that the mcu continues to stay strong as a brand and consolidates its position as the most dominant franchise within all of entertainment now I remember when we go back to 2021 and looking back on the performances of Black Widow and Shang-Chi of the Legend of the Ten Rings and Eternals, all movies that existed in the pandemic era, many were predicting that the lower performance of these films was very much the beginning of the end of the MCU. And I remember when I made videos about this at the time and I said it back then that that is something right now that is an impossible scenario. And that is because simply put the MCU is such a strong brand that has such an engagement and a connection with the fans it's going to take more than two or three underperforming films in order for the whole franchise to fail. 
And I said at the time, regardless of how badly that Eternals performs, the next four upcoming films would guarantee that the MCU would still go ahead and the next four upcoming films were guaranteed box office smashes and that's been proven already with the likes of Spider-Man No Way Home which grossed over 1.9 billion worldwide and also now with Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. So the MCU brand is just too strong to completely fail whether you like it or not. And I'm pretty much sure this successful run will continue with the next movie coming up which is Thor Love and Thunder feeding off the third movie for Ragnarok which managed to gross over 857 million worldwide and they'll continue in the same tone and direction with the fourth film and then later on this year we have Black Panther Wakanda Forever of course a sequel to one of the most highest grossing comic book movies in general the first movie coming out in 2018 grossing over 1.3 billion at the box office as well. So regardless of what you feel and particularly about Marvel's Phase 4 so far, of which I've said at best has had very mixed results overall, especially when you include all of the shows that have been released on Disney+, Plus, despite all of our feelings and concerns or maybe our scepticism, the MCU is very much here to stay and this massive box office weekend for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is once again a great sign for the character himself and also the franchise going forward. I'm pretty much sure we will definitely get a third movie, hopefully it will arrive much sooner than the six year gap that we had between the first film and the second film. And as I've mentioned in previous coverage, I'm pretty much sure the good reception shown to Elizabeth Olsen and the future plans for that character will end up resulting in the Scarlet Witch also getting her solo movie in the future down the line as well. So a great opening weekend for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. We will of course wait to see how it performs in the second weekend and I may provide some coverage on that as well because that will be the real indicator to tell us whether the film will definitely cross 1 billion worldwide. I still think it definitely will hit that threshold but I think worst case scenario it will hit at least maybe 850 to 900 million which is still a fantastic success for the character and also the MCU as well. So those are my thoughts and feelings on a massive box office weekend for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Let me know what you think in the comments below regarding your thoughts. Do you think the film can hit a billion or do you think it will suffer a major drop in its second weekend following the very mixed reception and reviews online? Let me know what you think in the comments below. How do you think this bodes well for the franchise going forward? Do you think we'll see similar numbers for Thor Love and Thunder and Black Panther Wakanda Forever? Let me know what you think in the comments as well. Please also hit and like those subscription and notification buttons so I can provide you with more high quality content like this in the future. But that's it for now. Take care of yourselves, stay safe distances and I will see you very very soon.